Hi everybody, this is Thomas from Inlet Audio and I'm really excited to introduce Scoring Piano. We spent two days at Altamira Sound in Alhambra, California sampling and recording this beautiful vintage Fisher Upright Piano owned by James Riotto, one of the founding members of Altamira Sound. Let's check it out. Welcome to Scoring Piano. So this is what the instrument looks like when it first loads up. Very simple design. We have James here sitting at the piano and we have a little bit of extra information about Altamira Sound. James is the co-founder of Altamira Sound and he's also the owner of this beautiful Fisher Upright from 1900 and generally the interface is laid out in a very simple way so it basically has six main sections so the mics and noises, EQ, compressor, reverb, delay and filter. We have three mic positions. The close mic position we captured with a stereo pair capturing sound from the player's perspective. Sub, we used a stereo pair around the leg area of the piano and used a pair of coals capturing a really rich and cinematic quality of this vintage upright. And then we used the room mics to capture the sound of the piano in Altamira's live room, just to get kind of a general ambience of this piano. We also added noises to the piano, such as keys and pedal. And I personally really love the pedal. It just kind of makes you feel like you're really kind of in front of a piano and playing a real piano. It just has that really beautiful quality. Then we have the EQ section here, where you can kind of fine tune the low, mid and high frequencies. We have a compressor. Um, with the compressor you can emphasize transients even more and you can change parameters such as threshold and ratio, attack and release. And then we have a reverb that ships with five different reverb modes. We have chamber, cathedral, hall, plate and home. And within that you can change the pre-delay size and the mix of just the overall uh, blend of mix. Then we have a delay that also has five different modes. So we have modern, analog, tape, vintage and diffusion. And we have parameters such as speed subdivision, feedback and the overall blend. Then we have a filter that allows you to change the cutoff, resonance and bandwidth of the piano. Really cool effects and we'll get to that later as well. How you can use the filter to make this piano sound almost like a felt piano. We really try to capture and preserve the sound of this piano and its rich history and really package it into a timeless modern interface that could be used for modern scoring. So let's have a listen. really nice, really personal, and uh, now let's listen to the higher range, which is really, really beautiful, because you feel like you can really hear and feel the hammers and the wood of the instrument, so let's have a listen. Let's listen to the low range, which is kind of really rich and very cinematic, very modern and perfect for underscore. Let's listen to the different mic positions. So we have close, sub and room. So let's listen just to the close mics. Then we'll 
listen to the sub. Really has a lot more body and kind of like low end and just adds a bunch more character as well. And let's listen to the room mic. And let's listen to them all together. I feel like the three mic positions really create a really beautiful blend. Like the close mics are kind of more personal, the sub adds a bit more just oomph to the sound. And then we have the room mics and they're just kind of the atmosphere of the piano. As mentioned earlier, we also included key and pedal noises. So let's listen to those. Let's listen first to the keys. And I'm gonna turn up the keys a bit just so we can hear it a bit more clearly. So you can really clearly hear that kind of note off, key off sound. Let's turn that back down to where we had it here. And let's listen just to the pedal real quick. Beautiful sound as well, just adds this beautiful resonance. And when you're really listening to it on, on good speakers, you feel like you're in front of this piano. You feel the pedal noise almost. So let's turn this back on and combine this back up here. Here we go. Let's listen to some reverb modes here. Let's select the hall reverb and increase the size a bit mix up a little bit as well. So let's check it out. Beautiful sounds here. Let's change that to cathedral and just increase the size to near maximum and increase the mix here as well. And let's listen to what that sounds like. One of my favorite reverb modes is also the home reverb, which sounds like the piano is in someone's bedroom or living room. It's really, really cool. Really beautiful personal quality and it sounds like it is in your home and it it's, doesn't sound like it's in a studio or in a live room or anything like that. So if you want a really dry kind of sound and close personal sound, this is a really great reverb. Let's add a delay to all of this. So what I really like to do is change this back to hall. Let's leave the size around here, put down the mix a bit and then add a quarter note. Yeah, let's do a quarter note delay with quite a bit of feedback. Let's put the mix a bit less and you can create really beautiful ostinatos with this for modern scoring. It's absolutely perfect. cool ostinato quality. Let's do another one like that, but this time let's do eighth notes and put the feedback up a little bit more. Actually, let's do half notes because I think we could create some really cool textures with that. So let's put up the mix here and let's try it out.
And of course, with each of these parameters, you can actually CC and MIDI CC them, so you can automate them with your preferred MIDI controller. So it makes it really, really versatile to create really, really cool um, textures and ambiences that you wouldn't be able to do with, with a real piano with, without the reverb. So um, let's move on to the filter section here. So we have cutoff, resonance, and bandwidth. And what's kind of cool sometimes to do is to kind of simulate a felt piano sound. So I like to kind of put the bandwidth all the way up, put the resonance all the way down, and maybe around here, let's just test it out. Basically around two thirds of the way uh, with the cutoff, you can really kind of cut off the high frequencies a little bit and just kind of create the illusion of a felt piano. Let's listen to another delay mode. So another mode that I really, really love is the diffusion one, because you can really create this kind of very trailery, very big cinematic sound. So let's listen to that. So I'm gonna just kind of put this back to, let's say 30 second notes, why not? And then put the feedback up halfway, mix up fairly high. Let's also increase the size here on the reverb and the mix, and let's listen to it. absolutely love this massive tail, it just creates this beautiful shimmery kind of reverb. It's really quite magical with the reverb and the delay together. And uh, let's listen to the same thing but with the filter trick that we just did and see what that sounds like. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We really appreciate it. And we hope that you enjoy creating music with this as much as we love making this library. So we put a lot of time and effort into this. We had a really great time with Altamira Sound and James is an absolute amazing engineer and all-round musician. So we would really love if you could check out the library. Thanks so much. Until next time.